Last time there was running, and now running I, down a hole. I hope you like running down hallways, because I have the feeling it's a recurring theme here. That's the draw the of Deep Fear for me, is that intense running animation. He runs with such purpose. <laughs> it increases both the depth and the fear. <laughs> it does. I got some good news for you, by okay. the way. All right. This is the last um, part? <laughs> no, no. There's, there's things that happen in this video. Oh, there's content. There is. It's ridiculous. I was wondering when the developers would get on that. I know. It's gonna be crazy. I mean, they threw me that red herring of Mookie's death. <laughs> that's that's called pathos, you know? It's a good part of any story. True. Anyway, what were we doing now? What, what happened in the last video? Something involving air. Well, Mookie died. Let's not forget that. <laughs> he... <laughs> He had his third strike, as he would say to himself, probably. Oh. <laughs> we're never gonna win the pennant like this, John Mayer. <laughs> there, there were, uh, there were exper exper experimental animals that broke out. I don't know if that's important to the plot. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> no. Hmm. And um, uh, the, the John has a cold, right? And that means, or that's not actually a cold; it's him being infected. Yeah, he might. This might be an infection or just a cold. We don't know. It's April Fool's Day. You don't know what to expect. Doctor Gina might just be fucking with him even now. Because mm -hmm. that would be the one time you wouldn't expect it. So perhaps this game helped inspire Resident Evil Four when Leon gets infected with the virus. Did that happen? Well, Ashley got infected, and then there was a cutscene where a guy jammed a thing in Leon's neck or some shit like that. I remember it happening to Ashley. I don't quite remember Leon so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a cutscene where they both get on a thing and disinfect themselves. <laughs> Was it better or worse than Deep Fear? Look, I may be mixing up with the fan fiction I read, I don't know. <laughs> Either way. There's a lot of hanging jackets in Deep Fear, I will say <laughs> that. Oh, cutscene, here we go. The air system is running. Please help me release the netlock. Before huh? that, I found two more things about the parasite cell. Tell me. Go on. I didn't find a parasite cell in your blood. But no, I did it. find a cold virus and gave it to a mouse. <laughs> The virus kept the parasite away. A solution? Not necessarily. <laughs> it just means that the parasite cell does not enter bodies infected with a virus. But a the solution! Virus alone cannot fend off the parasite cell. Oh. But there's oh. one more important find. Oh. The parasite cell is weak in oxygen. Oxygen? For most What's animals, that? oxygen is actually lethal. Because of the low level, humans can live on Earth. Why are we panning around her? The cell has a lower oxygen tolerance than humans, so even the oxygen in the air weakens them. That means... <laughs> if we fill the big table with a lot of air, then the parasite cell should weaken. Let's go release the netlock. Netlock? <laughs> the worst alien threat in the world. Oxygen? You thought, you thought signs was bad when they were bad with water? <laughs> These people can't even handle it. These aliens can't even handle air. <laughs> oh no, we used a first air kit. Where are we gonna get another one? Oh, it sounded like you just got out of a Metal Gear Solid alert status. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> Good thing we stocked this ship just fucking full of first aid items. First aid items? First aid items. What's oxygen? So let me get this straight. John is just okay because he has a cold. Yeah, and, and that keeps and get, him oh. from being infected, apparently. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind that monster. Anyway, so I guess Mookie too? Is that the way that goes? I think Mookie's got more problems than possibly having caught John's cold. <laughs> well, there is that. I mean, getting disemboweled, I don't think a cold's gonna stop that. Well, I just mean, like, at this point, you know... <laughs> It's, it's pretty obvious a good immune system is actually bad against the monsters of deep fear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what is that thing at the oh. end there? Oh, that's a person. Is it? It's hard to tell that's... with this game. Oh, it's the lady again. What's her name? Oh, her. Gina. Gina. With an E. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'll just smell this switch. <laughs> oh, retina, right. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? Oh. For dry, binary eyes. <laughs> Just stare right into this ring. This is where we keep our Sonic software. Yep, you pass. Okay. It was awfully elaborate, but okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no elevator sequence. 
I guess at least we know no monsters could have crossed through here. Uh. It's okay now. You should be able to go through at any time. What about you? I'll stay here a little more. I'll notify you when I found the creature's weak points. Well, how'd you get past the monster and the... Okay. Oh, never mind. Be careful. John. I love you. Thanks for everything. <laughs> You're welcome, Dr. Weisberg. <laughs> Call me Gina. Oh, hey. Whoa. Okay. Gina. How about I help you catch my cold? <laughs> Do you want some deep fear from my crotch? You could say that. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. That wasn't a very good pickup line. <laughs> I, never mind. I should stick Go back, back to, to my office. hotter lines like oxygen. <laughs> Let's take a step back here. Is a cold a sexually transmitted disease or not? Oh. oh, strange. I didn't see that in the. Well, we're in. No, whatever. <laughs> Go to the apartment, Derry. Just brush that off. <laughs> Rent is really good at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I'll sneeze on you and kill you all. <laughs> The trick is the continental shelf is rent controlled, so it's. Uh oh, wait. More cutscene. Okay. Deep fear style. Hmm? These are beautiful apartments, I will say that. Uh, it's at times like this that you just think about Mookie. What's that? Whatever it is, just stare at it, John. Oh, it's completely stupid looking. <laughs> My arch nemesis, Chicken Snake. Really? That's what you do? You just hide? You can't Mortal Kombat block your way out of this, John. Can't he, though? John's blandness shot them to death. Are you okay? Who's this? Oh, yeah. Thanks for saving me. Who are you? Why, Wouldn't it's... it be polite if you told me your name Whoa. first? Mm. What is wrong with your torso? <laughs> um, about those steroids you're right. using. I'm John Mayer, ERS. Rescue squad? How do I know you're not a creature? <laughs> um, I don't look like you? <laughs> I could ask you the same question. <laughs> and more legitly. I'm coming down. <laughs> She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. <laughs> also, I'm blind. Well, your legs are broken. <laughs> do I look like a monster? <laughs> In a way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anna Lawrenson, DN Company Diver. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm trying not to look at you. Returning to the CCD area. The area lock is broken. Oh it can't be repaired. Wait, but there stop is a the bench press. <laughs> Jesus. Easy. Torch the area lock panel and rewire it. I guess King Graham had a daughter. Where can I find a torch? Find it yourself. I'm busy looking for Rambo. Gee, you is are Rambo. Burn? Rambo. You mean I don't look like him? A bulldog. My companion. I usually let him roam around here. If something happens, he usually returns right away. But <laughs> you are aware thousands people. of people are I'm dead worried. on this ship, right? So, I don't have time to talk. Bye. Monsters? Yeah, right, John. Good April Fool. <laughs> I love that. Do I look like a monster to you? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, sort of. You look like a hideous beast. From the great no unknown. <laughs> Granted, I will never grow any facial hair, but still, lady. <laughs> I mean, you look like you just came back from a shave. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a very close one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, oh. off to the garage of these oh. apartments. If only that lady were still here, she could open that door for me. She could just carry me around while I shoot people. She could punch all the locked doors open. <laughs> she could set a Guinness Book of World Records for anything, really. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> I saw that woman and I can't stand up anymore. I'm scared. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, there should be some ammo here. If you hear a puking sound in a room transition, that's me turning. Here, go to this torrent site and access some bullets. Oh, good. We needed bullets, even though they're plentiful like fucking everything. <laughs> it's like goddamn Thanksgiving with ammo and health in this game. Tis the season. 
So someone commented, I, uh, I know what our charge is now. Okay, and that is? The mask is basically reserve air for when you run out. Oh, like that. so that refills your mask thing. Right, 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 exactly. Gotcha. So basically you are in no danger ever in this game. So it only took a couple hours, but now we fully have mastered the mechanics of deep fear. I think it's it's less um, our intuition and more our apathy that's holding us back. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> There's a nice brain chart over there. So anyway, back to... So you're telling me you're not going to play Deep Fear after we watch it? Wait, what, how are we in Central Park? What are they talking about? <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> what was that sign? Yes, we are open. <laughs> There's like a restaurant in this fucking thing. <laughs> oh, it's a kiosk. Now, where's that Starbucks? <laughs> All right, we're we're by the cash the cashier's desk apparently. The only thing more impressive than the soundtrack is the gun sounds. I don't remember the monsters having these emeralds in their back. Is this like an upgraded version? <laughs> well, John, maybe you should have held your breath and finished shooting the monster before putting on the mask. There are, there are a lot of ways to do that better. Let's hope you learn. Was that FedEx over on the right? Oh. The Welcome FedEx to the virus. Welcome to the Undersea Diner. <laughs> Can I order Hank's, up some air? Hank's not here. Oh. Oh man, more ammo. Good. We, we only have 108 <laughs> bullets left now. Are there any Resident, disgusting monster blobs in here you can put in your pocket? Remember how Resident Evil like made all like the resources scarce to keep things tense? <laughs> yes. How do you think the people who made this game missed that? Oh, good, a hamburger. Maybe that was a criticism they had. They're out of hamburgers. No, you can't download any of this food store? <laughs> I'm afraid you hit a strike trying to get more hamburgers, Chief. <laughs> That's my Mookie. Is it any good? It's, it's close. <laughs> it's high pitched for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I can't breathe, but this hamburger's delicious. <laughs> Just shoves it into the open holes on his And mask. when John leaves, he looks at the dead monsters and says, I'll put that on your tab. <laughs> Check, please. And then he, like, slowly rotates and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I leave most restaurants. <laughs> My pivot action doesn't let me do a good burn. See Slow Beef Central Park. <laughs> you know, if I were building an undersea base, I would make sure to include a lot of plant life. Well, that's where you get your oxygen? Wait, <laughs> something's wrong there. <laughs> All right. Let's go to 2F, why not? If that lady had run out of ammo, she would have uprooted those trees herself and beat off the monsters you know, with those. You, are you actually talking over the elevator? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. We'll just not let that happen again. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Man, diabetes, it's like they caught you fireball! <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope I know enough about baseball to keep this going. Seriously, the 13 minutes without an elevator is too long. <laughs> I don't know what I'm shooting, but I'm afraid. <laughs> Better check the map. The air's, oh my god, the air's 20% over. Oh. Over what, what is, Over what? I'm not sure what they mean exactly. Does it mean we're 20% down? Well, there's 32 air left. It's too easy to breathe in here. I can't fight off this thing. <laughs> anyway, enough of you, this goofy shit. <laughs> that was 10 bullets well spent. Alright. Now, now for some more apartments. <laughs> Glutton! <laughs> we'll go to a cave. That's a great thing to name your fucking restaurant. Uh oh. Now the glutton scene. Are you glutton? Oh, it's the... It's Rambo. Is that dog wearing pants? Oh, it's just... The dog's using steroids. <laughs> Him and its owner. Well, did you see his owner? Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what dogs eat, John. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have the shits Rambo. for days. He's not supposed to eat that. You look tougher than me, I just want to say that. Rambo weighs 500 pounds, by the way. Don't feed my Thank dog you. burgers. Just for that, I'll tell you that the torch is in the DN area. Okay. Come with me to the CCD area. It should be safer there than here. No. I don't like Navy folk. Besides, I have this. That's not the way to hold a shotgun. I'll just return saying. to the DN area. 
Your own area is the safest. Not really how you hold I'll a dog either. This. <laughs> it's the DN area spare key. Use it. So is anyone aware this is like a life or death situation? <laughs> well, if you were her, would you be afraid? I mean, I, I wouldn't be afraid of anything except the mirror. I mean, you could. She could punch the monsters' heads off easily. <laughs> All right. Welp. Off to the juke. Well, that cutscene was a pardon the expression, breath of fresh air. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's over sixty now. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Good job, John Mayer. Um, <laughs> you can't take the magazines with you. This <laughs> this game's not that silly. Can I take the glutton banner with me? I'll just take some some of the thousands of items in every room. <laughs> All right. It's John's running down the hallway. There's random first aid kits falling out of his pockets because they're so full. <laughs> and a hamburger. <laughs> That was actually a puzzle, do you realize that? We gave a fucking dog a burger. So if you'd gone in there without the burger, the scene would not have taken place? I don't think so, I think you needed the burger for that. Uh oh. John, you better hurry, these-, these One of those very... is Rambo after having eaten the burger. <laughs> these tiny E.T. raptors are really gonna fuck with you. Just get out of there. Oh, I don't like it anymore! Shit, I'm down to 900 in, um, first aid kits now. The whole room closed when there's low air. I better use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to pee out the shame I just experienced. <laughs> I wish I could have taken one of those magazines with me. So in the lavatory, is there a giant banner that says pisser? This is really great spatial sound. I really feel like there's water dripping right behind me. <laughs> wherever I aim. Mm. So does <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, can you please wait? I'm... God, guy needs to pee. <laughs> the grenade machine's right next to the condom machine and the hand dryer. I bet that monster's one of those things that where if John tries to use a urinal, the monster uses the one right next to him instead of going to the other end. <laughs> and then John slowly pivots while peeing, says, so, Jesus <laughs> Christ, get away from me. And then pivots back. <laughs> peeing the whole time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the urine's falling on his crappy drop shadow. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of what Deep Fear makes me expect. Oh no, it's 20 over, 19 under. Are those the Vegas odds of air? I guess it is. <laughs> and we got 20% over on there, and, and the projection room got 20% over. Anyone? Anyone take bets on 20% over? It's only 19 under. I'm not, I'm not betting. <laughs> I'm not taking that spread. <laughs> now to the projection room. Is there a movie theater on the big table? Well, there's... Why not? <laughs> Tonight's movie, Deep Fear, which got 7% on Rotten Tomatoes. And after this, I'll go to the ballroom. All right. The projection room's too scary to have a monster pop out at you. This is where they did test screenings of Deep Fear. Hmm. You'd expect to see a lot of dead people due to self-inflicted gunshot wounds. <laughs> see a VHS tape cracked in half that says PewDiePie. <laughs> John Mayer's like, even the people of Big Table wouldn't watch this. Mm. I think that's going to be the running gag through the rest of Breath to Pray. Yeah, it's that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm hoping. Um, well, back to CCD. No. Oh. What What's, did we accomplish? Uh, what was shuffling around? Oh, we got the... What is the DN room? Oh, the shower room. Oh, my. Okay. Time to clean up a little bit. Time to bit. justify Deep Fear's M rating. Time to get a menage a trois going with Gina and the Terminator lady. Uh, and apparently in the shower room you can do your laundry also. Oh, I... It's more a shower for clothing, I guess. That was a dirty fucking shower, yeah. though. God almighty. And there's not even a lab coat hanging in there. What the hell? <laughs> well, this looks safe to shower in. <laughs> you know, you tell off, a grenade tends to fall out of your naked ass. It'll happen. <laughs> oh, that grenade was... That's what was between my ass cheeks. <laughs> well... All right, no wonder I was uncomfortable. No wonder I was farting so much, I had air grenades up my butt. <laughs> That's what you call it when you fart, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I let loose a couple of air grenades back there. <laughs> Can I tell a funny true story while we've got some downtime? Oh, this is downtime? <laughs> I think so. Okay. <laughs> Shockingly. Go ahead, um, if you can I tear my attention away from this action. <laughs> 
I have a coworker who's a man. He manages a couple people, and he actually had to yell at one of his employees for farting too much at work. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, this is true. And like during, oh, wait, 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 wait. I swear to God, this is true. Um, during his review, at the end, he's like, "You're doing great work, but listen, I gotta talk to you, man to man. You are blasting farts at work, and people are complaining to me." <laughs> and the guy's like, "Really? I didn't know." It. He's like, "Yeah, you really are. You gotta stop that." Was it that they were so, loud, or that they smelled, or both? He would, both, he would apparently lift his leg up and just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> like, and this guy who, like, sat in the cube next to him was like, had to always leave. And complain, like, I can't do my work. He's Productivity like, is down 30%. <laughs> we can quantify was, the effect of your farts. Due to air grenades. Due to these air grenades. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. Let's just use some first aid kits, which I don't think is a euphemism for anything. Oh, wait. We've attained an animal. You don't stop. I'm throwing you a pink slip grenade. Oh, we got the shotgun B weapon. Hey, rescue guys. <laughs> no way you're going to get those. Oh, Anna's that um, really strangely shaped lady. All right. Mm. Well. Oh, the buff lady? Yeah. She's not really buff, though. She's, like, something's not quite right She's there. disproportioned. Yes. It's almost like the, the character model for her was like, look, I spent all this time making kind of a built guy, and now you want a woman? I'll add some boobs, and that's all I'm doing, <laughs> yeah. okay? Give a ponytail, no one will notice. All no right. one's playing this game, right? <laughs> hey, we got a Mossberg now. Great. Great. <laughs> now these really easy to fight off enemies will be even easier to fight off. So does Deep Fear let you carry every weapon ever, or do you have to select? I'm sorry? Does Deep Fear let you carry any which weapons you want, or do you have to give up some to take others with you? Um, I think you're allowed to, like, carry it, but you can only have certain ones equipped, is the idea. Oh, thank goodness you got that one air back. Basically. Um, let's see here. Um... Still thinking about Mookie. He's a good guy, yeah, though. He was. I miss him in a way. He was. You can't say is anymore, Slow Beef. He's passed. Oh, by the way, um, apparently the gun we're using, or we're using, is called the, according to Sturminator, is called the Stayer TMP, and it's short for Tactical Machine Pistol. Oh. I've learned something now about my Deep Fear experience. And that's important to the plot? I, you know, honestly, I, I have just, I'm, I'm kind of going through the last Deep Fear video and all the YouTube comments we got. Hmm. Because. A greater frankly, source of knowledge about Deep Fear than Deep Fear itself. I, I guess so, yeah. What's happening on screen? What am I missing? Oh, just more over under about air stuff. Something about Danny's room. Got lots of air. We got 98. 98, apparently. Yeah. Well, why are we back in the bathroom? Jean Mayer actually have to go? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I hope. Is that a puzzle solution? Let's hope so. All right. I'm just beds. Kidding. You're all <laughs> under. One of you is gonna talk about this virus. Which one of you is infected? Mm. With comfort. Oh, the VTR two. Two. That should be interesting. That is so next gen. Is that a lady poster on the wall there? I can't tell what Let's that's supposed so. to be. It's sexy, whatever it's supposed that, to be. That's true, yeah. Mm. Uh, Alright, well, that was fruitful. We, we got a VHS tape out of it, right? A VTR tape, I believe. Oh, right, video transposite recorder. We allowed to use that if we're sick, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, why not? Okay. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> well, the impact of that Wait. gun, you can just hear it. Hold on, I'm sorry. We had, she clearly had the drop on us. <laughs> I mean... No, you just calmly get out your gun. Yeah. Wait, wait better. Did I, did I hear a monster come back? Mm. I'm not afraid. <laughs> uh. Anyway, no. Good. Danny, let me in. These monsters are having a hard time breathing despite the amount of air. 
Oh wait, they hate hair. I think they're just frustrated that the game's not going anywhere. Do something. Again. You keep going to bathrooms. I hope I find that muscular girl. Now a little something for the ladies. Wow, the game's even easier now. <laughs> Come on! Alright. Oh, I can only do that 37 more times. <laughs> Listen, for the final level of deep fear, we're only going to give you 300 first aid kits and air grenades, okay? Oh my god, are you playing on professional difficulty? <laughs> um, this said the ladies' room, right? <laughs> yes. So women... Ladies aren't actually allowed to go to the bathroom on the ship. <laughs> they have whole lockers? I... Wow, I really misunderstood biology. <laughs> Wait, I'd better check this out again. Deep. All women need are a calendar and a sink? Okay, good job, bye. No, deep fear. Deep fear. <laughs> Chief, I feel like you're trying to steal second, but it's just not happening. <laughs> and so John left the ladies' room, scratching his head. Is that a nerd wheezing or is that a monster? <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's Anna doing another steroid cycle. <laughs> is what that sound is. I think you'd hear these same sorts of noises at a PAX panel. Hmm. Why not? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> All right. Good. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Deep Fear. That got me my second wind. I think. I feel like in every presidential debate, they should break up each answer with the elevator. <laughs> they should. Like, each candidate will have one minute to speak, followed by an elevator transition, and then you'll have 30 seconds for a counter-argument. Governor Romney, please do not talk over the elevator. <laughs> What's going to happen is I'm going to answer this question, and he'll get the last part. No, 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 Governor Romney, the elevator. No, the elevator is happening right now, Governor. Wow, the shotgun really is just like the easy difficulty. Pretty much. <laughs> I like how the thing keeps flipping end over end. But wait till it gets intense where he only has ten left and he has to go to a download room. <laughs> we call this the Acrobat Monster. It's <laughs> a good name. Well, I'd better check what's in the... <laughs> should, should we go to a red room? Is that mm. what that is? Like... One of the rooms is celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I feel that's good of it. I'm generally just unsure what's happening to the other rooms, though. Mm. All right. Next. Just slowly position ourselves. Oh, that's right. Okay, we're gonna play the tape. What do you think's on it? I'm thinking it's gonna be Mookie's vlog. I'm thinking the first Resident Evil movie. <laughs> right. I'm thinking it'll be Anna's workout routine. <laughs> I don't know if we can sit here for that long to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is a 24-hour video. Um, this is awful. Deep fear? Sea fox? The sea fox has... Trans... what? I think it's transcribing that the sea fox is thinking. Oh, so the sea fox <laughs> is programmed by Squall? Well, that was a worthwhile puzzle to solve. Okay. Did something actually happen there? Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> All right. The Sea Fox is running the Golgo 13 program. <laughs> Gina, I saw the submarine gave me some ellipses. Does, does this do anything? Did anything happen? Anyone going to explain anything? No. Are we going back shh, to the third floor? Shh, shh. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Cool. Anyway, um... All right, go on. Did anything actually happen because we watched that video, or...? I'm thinking that unlocks a room, perhaps, of some kind? Why would it, though? And really, no one on the localization team pointed out storage was spelled wrong? I can't get over that. Stuff. Strage. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the translation team was pitched a no-hitter! So as you can tell, that was the acrobat monster. <laughs> we call them Cirque du Soleil's. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I'm just gonna run against them. Okay, good. Waiting for your hitbox to disappear. 
I'm still not afraid of anything in this game. I'm just gonna throw that out there. What, what was that? Would he check out like the lunch menu for tomorrow and just walk on? Oh, at 4.30 it's time for my snack. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> I can still juggle at least. <laughs> can I give you the joke Ironicus wanted us to use? Okay. Um, I just want you to keep in mind for the Sega Saturn a game was made like this instead of another Sonic game. <laughs> to take it a little further, too, no more Panzer Dragoons, no more of any Sega's IPs, but we got Deep Fear, at least. <laughs> and that's all you really need, isn't it? Just... I mean, just look at it. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Now set item. Wow, I'm only at near my max for everything. We only have a 15 grenades and a thousand bullets. We're all set. <laughs> For the tension. Right. The deep tension. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright. Horror? So what are we doing right now? Last thing oh, of significance was progress. you- Oh, progress. I'm sorry, what? We're, we're finally making progress. Remember we got the DN key from our butch friend? Right, because you Anna, fed the dog the burger. We're apparently using it now. Yeah, 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 exactly. So now we've um, we've gotten to a new area. I bet there'll be the same monsters and <laughs> nothing will happen. So why did it take so long to get to this area after encountering Butch Lady? Oh, basically because the apartment is scary and we're part of a... What, what the hell are we in? Is this like a safe deposit room or...? Looks that way. <laughs> Killed her. I better put on my mask. No, don't don't kill those things. Where is my P.O. box? Just turn in the direction I was going. It's not here, obviously. <laughs> oh look, a new monster. It's um what what the hell is that thing supposed Just to be? Just give me a second to spray myself. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh my Hammer god. Time. It's, <laughs> it's the one armed Yeti. Well, that's that. Deep fear due to forced perspective. <laughs> I call it deep perspective. Mm -hmm. Let's just go to this. Carefully, you only have mm. got about as much reserve air as you're right. Never mind. You're just. <laughs> well, okay. Good. You're fine. <laughs> deep tension. Ooh. So once you use an oh, R charge, like... can you not use it again for a little while? I do this game I fucking doubt. I have, yeah. Uh oh. Even the even the sunlight won't reach. Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> we couldn't have afforded any sort of animation out these windows. It puts things in such a perspective that is forced. <laughs> Let's look again. Yes. Yeah. So just quiet. wanted to confirm it is indeed three hundred meters. This is indeed a Pepto Bismol room. <laughs> right. Let's go Wait, to this, this Tetris page gym. to find clues. Was one of them the Big Jim Pants room? <laughs> I mean, I fucking hope so. That's where Anna does her clothes shopping. I kind of want to meet Big Jim Pants. <laughs> Old crazy Big Jim Pants, under 300 meters of sea level. Oh, the apartments here are close to D-Network. Good. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. <sighs> yeah, what do you know? Oh, monsters. Yeah, I'll take about two shots to kill. Someone else pointed out, apparently the game does actually lower the air if you shoot. Oh. Doesn't seem I, like I it, didn't quite okay. spot that there. What about when you get hit? Yeah. No? Hold on. Hold on, monster. I'm putting on my mask. Excuse All me, right. monster, but I am flagged to do something. Excuse me, one-armed yetis with bird feet. Um. <laughs> yeah, just get a little closer and... <laughs> I feel like new new monsters in these games should be like a little more threatening <laughs> than you know just stand still and shoot, or to maybe look a little intimidating. Yeah, right. <laughs> it looked like something you'd see with Chuck E. Cheese with an armor. It sounds like you just got the right answer on a game show. <laughs> <laughs> you killed the Yetis, suck? John. Now you get to go to the next level. <laughs> now for our pop trivia question: Is this game any good? Answer: No. Ding, 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 ding. You're correct. You won ten air grenades! <laughs> the intelligence room is the last room in this game. <laughs> it's like, we're finally here. 
That's an Easter egg room. All right. It's an Easter egg room where you talk to the game's programmers. Oh, this one's full of insecticide, too. Hmm. So we know <laughs> these aren't insects. Well, I got shot. Better just keep walking toward him. Oh, wait. I'll wait just, for you to uh, reload. Oh, thank you. Could you not have given me a couple more seconds? All right, well... Well... <sighs> That's not him breathing, he's just sighing because, like, ah, oh, fine. Just like, God, I made myself like an idiot. Man, you might run out of your 800 fucking first aid kits. You better conserve it, you jackass. <laughs> but he does not have any portable things that restore his air, right? Not yet. I'm sure there's some. Unless he, like, stuffs an air grenade into his little breathing thing. Isn't this where we saw the captain guy in Dubois? It looks like it. Well. Oh, do whatever happened to old Dubois? I miss him. He seemed like a character who was going to have a big arc throughout this, uh, this game. <laughs> yeah, right? Somehow Anna's become more of an important character, and she kind of scares me. Somehow. Oh, man. Broken communicator. Who would have thought? I'm starting to think this long player doesn't know what he's doing. Hey, what happened to that guy? Do you remember the guy um, who was with Mookie? Who was like, oh, monsters? I thought you killed them, Mookie. Let's go down together. Oh, remember him? I do, yeah. Or what, what about the him? lady who pretended to be dead with Mookie at the beginning? Oh, yeah. And Stella. Remember our anime girlfriend from the picture? Of that course. Gina I've not seen any anime in this game yet. It kind of what if she looked exactly like she looked in the picture in the game? <laughs> I'm so confused. This game is dropping characters. Like, <laughs> It's like, we don't need characters, but let's add more air grenades into the mix. Let's just introduce a bunch of characters. You'll like at least one of them, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, look, he can just recharge his air whenever. <laughs> yep, we're good. Deep fear. We weren't good at video game balancing. But you didn't look at the outside. Oh. I wanted him to. Oh, man. So this, you're going from one room into the same room. Basically, he's gonna come out and then just shrug. <laughs> Man, the D dot network area. Weren't we just here? What we were? I thought we killed some Yeti. I guess he just went back there to get his air back. Oh, dude, the equipment room is oh, gonna be sick. The other way, yeah. Oh, poison gas. That's okay. We have this thing. We this air mask. We can just recharge whenever. We have this thing that causes no threat to us whatsoever. I was thinking reserve. Maybe a sensory rebreather. Who knows with deep fear? Doesn't look very poisonous. Is it a cutscene, I hope? Yeah. Uh. Who is it? What are you holding up? A flashlight? Who what? are you? <laughs> My name is Ken Fujiyama. I work for the Shirahata Corporation. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was collecting monitor data on my company's products. Are you from a rescue team? Yes. I was hiding you there. Why does monster? Have you come to save me? Yes, but I have to return to the CCD area. For that, I need your torch. Excuse me, but I can't trust you because you might be a monster. Talk to Let's the hand. A deal? A deal? You want this torch? I'll give it you. In return, give me something I can use. I don't have any money. How is he breathing? Good money. <laughs> what I want is monitor data on the big gym. The big gym? Any what? fishes, water diving wear. It's my company's oh. latest product. I don't know where the monitor data is. This is offensive. I want you to look quiet. Good there. Don't you think? <sighs> I can't okay. breathe. I'll look for it. Please copy it onto this. Wait, that was gibberish. Wait, what? Here. <laughs> so what did we learn? Wait here. John Mayer just talks to like foreigners and that like I'll just speak slowly and they will understand English. Now. That wasn't any foreigner. That was the man with the golden gun. Does anyone understand that like it's a life or death situation and there's monsters trying to kill everyone? <laughs> April Fool, I hear that American like that. He, he looks mildly embarrassed at his performance that he just gave. <laughs> like, oh, that was not convincing at all. That sounded John, terrible. John, if his English were pitching, he'd have walked the better. <laughs> Mookie, even in death, you give sage words. 
Oh, big gym uh, parts. Yeah. Big gyms are those like big diving suits. You ever see those? Those like big bubble things. Hmm? They're they're pretty cool. I like them. Oh, big gym oh, no. sounds like a used car salesman. Is he wearing sunglasses? It looks like it does. Hmm. Anyway, I guess to figure out this, he puts on the sunglasses. We'll have to go deeper <laughs> than Miami Vice. Okay. Or CSI Miami Vice. <laughs> Either way, right? Honestly, it's fine. at this point. Hmm. Well, can't find your parts, and I flooded the room you were in. Well. <laughs> like, at this point, I think you're allowed to just shoot the guy and take the torch. <laughs> that, that is the CSI Miami That thing. is a hasty conclusion you reached, John. <laughs> they call me Detective Mayor. <laughs> anyway. Let's just look in the... Co coffin? I guess. Oh, Fucking water pressure. Yo, Big Jim, open up. <laughs> well, all right. all right, that went well. <laughs> okay, look, I can't have the torch, so either you're going to give me it or I'll kill you. <laughs> Puzzle solving, deep fear style. Yeah, he's going to turn into a monster anyway. <laughs> Can you tell me how to fix the water pressure in broken English, please? <laughs> <laughs> is, your, is your neck okay, by the way? <laughs> I need the muscles. I do squat. It no go well, Jamel. Son. Despite <laughs> Anna's advice. <laughs> Localization team, terrible races. <laughs> Not like a Japanese. And John now gets as far away as possible. Now I'm Italian, though. <laughs> We're gonna make fun of everybody. Slenderman, can you negotiate getting this torch or something? <laughs> Slenderman, how would you work this out? Wait a minute. Thunderman, what are you doing here? <laughs> Give the guy a torch, his monster's all around. <laughs> That's what Deep Fear is missing, honestly. <laughs> Slenderman? Slenderman. <laughs> He's the one character that I think would uh, be a good foil for John. <laughs> John Mayer, honorable diver, ES person. Rescue me, but you don't have a torch. <laughs> I, now I you sound like a South Park character. I don't know what the nationality I am anymore. <laughs> well, let's try the Big Jim boarding room. Oh. Big Jim's gonna be a porn star sitting on a chair. Mm. Oh, there's there they are. Big Jim's pajamas. Why did we throw a grenade? Air, oh, it's air air. Air. There, I forgot. I forgot. All about Easy to that. mix up with regular grenades, unfortunately. It's Big Jim. Oh, Big Jim. <laughs> All right. Well, no, John, there. you can't do <laughs> Throw the big gym grenade. <laughs> it's an entrance pool for big gym. Mm. So just um, just to help the deep fear people, big gym's not actually a person. Unfortunately. It's a diving, it's a diving suit. Go. Yeah. Hmm. Well, time to give um, our enemies our secrets. <laughs> Wait, the MO disc. Wasn't that in Resident Evil 1? Uh, I think it was. <laughs> What does that mean? Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, it's April Fool's, but still. <laughs> Instead of file, the option is Big Jim. Uh, this is Windows 8, right? <laughs> I think so, yes. Okay. I guess this might be Windows 9. When I forget Metro, we're going to this. Two folders and Big Jim is how you start everything. <laughs> um, we needed a cutscene for that. I am a computer programmer. Wait, why did we blank from a... I think I think we appeared on the screen. I think we now we are Big Jim is what that means. Oh, okay. We're Big John. Well, while I'm here, why did you use the air grenade then? I was going to say you wasted an item, but you still have... Yeah, you can't really waste items them. in this game. Don't worry about it. You're king shit of fuck mountain in terms of air and ammo. I think it was more like, I need to clear some inventory space. <laughs> Well, now that that puzzle's solved, on to talk to my, um, immigrant friend, I guess. <laughs> That's what we'll call him. I think he just has a speech impediment. I'm really not sure. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> Speaking of impediments, I have a running impediment. <laughs> Goodbye, Big Jim. You should see Je uh, John, though. He can run a marathon in under three hours like that, <laughs> easily. I think Big Jim is actually my legit favorite character in this game. Mm-hmm. 
I really like him a lot better than watching this idiot dick around for like a fucking undersea base for three hours straight. <laughs> all right. Well, oh, oh Anna's Anna's room. room. Here we go. This is gonna be sexy. Look at all the bodybuilder posters she has on her wall. <laughs> yeah. No, right. she it's doesn't fit in those. No, come on. Look what at look doing? at that. Um, excuse me? <laughs> um, am, I, am I interrupting? Anna, are you growing something that you shouldn't be growing? Are, why are you motioning the dog there? <laughs> Don't worry about me. Uh, Anna, you have company. You realize that? Come on, Rambo, right to the crotch. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure, John, just read my shit. I'm not John's kidding. reading this and peeking back to Anna in the meantime. <laughs> what is she still doing that? Can I uh, work out here or something? Oh. No? Um, okay. Can I, borrow your... Can I borrow your giant tank? <laughs> okay. Right. Well, good knowing you. I'm just going to go through your stuff. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. All right. Well. Deep fear. Deep fear. The ultimate in video game controls. Mm hmm you want to look in the locker? No, you're talking to Anna. So you think Anna's going to make it? Um, Rambo, yes. Anna, I'm not sure. Mm. I can't tell if Gina is supposed to be the love interest or Anna. At this point, John Mayer is probably like, no, neither, please. I'd rather go back to Stella. <laughs> anyway. Back to story. Stella is the most kawaii of the women I know. <laughs> Where did you come from? Who cares? It's kind of not anyway. fair that you have to take all that time to draw your gun. <laughs> You're basically guaranteed to take a hit. It doesn't matter. That's why they give you so much fucking help. I guess so. Yeah, look. <laughs> so they well, give you to make up for the other failed mechanics. They give you more kind of shitty mechanics. Basically. <laughs> Three monsters, two shells... Oh. <laughs> no reason to enter this room. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> this is actually Anna's training room. <laughs> she like, boxes with those things. She bench presses those monsters. <laughs> like, <sighs> three. Uh, <sighs> we'll spot four. you. Uh. <laughs> is, you should make the right side heavier. No, no, it doesn't work. There's the claw. <laughs> there's so many straw areas on the ship. My God. It is... <laughs> Well, people are Strage when you're a Strage. Mm -hmm, that's so Strage. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Now with 52 air remaining and no monsters, we're going to go back to our... Is, that, is he supposed to be Japanese? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Right, so what's Japanese? happening? Uh, we're, uh, we're bringing the big gym parts pants... Plans things to um, to Yoshio as I've named him now. Oh right, and then he'll give you the torch. And what do I you have, need the torch for? Uh, I forgot. Anna said we needed it. We need another plot write up from that guy who provided the first one. Text in a box. Help us out here. What is Come happening? On. All right, here we go. Oh, it really looks more like a glue gun. All I'm taking away from this is that there's a monkey for some reason. Here. I can go back to my company. This is what was promised. Your company is fine too, but you have to get out of here alive first. It's okay. Well, don't worry. My company's big team is invisible. What? Say again. Invisible? In... Invisible? Invisible. Oh, he has an invisible diving suit. Mm -hmm. Which Same is probably with his... He's crazy. Which is probably this video game's way of getting out of animating a big gym suit. <laughs> I have to imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it. We're going to use the torch underwater to seal the mm -hmm. crack. And you know, this game totally inspired the big daddy suits in uh, Bioshock. Or no, we entered that room. Bioshock so. totally ripped off Deep Fear Man. I like to call this game Bioshock 3. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> or Script Shock. <laughs> Game shock, really. Bio expected. I like the, also the notion that they put they post bulletins on a blackboard. <laughs> that, that really helps. Good job, guys. Yeah. 
My company do not know how to use stationery. I don't know what the fuck voice I'm doing with that guy. That's what happens when you hire some random American guy and tell him, do a funky accent. Any fucking- uh oh. Well, I better put my gun away for that. It's like someone just unleashed Nightmare. I just feel like John Mayer's like, oh, what now? <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst April Fool's Day I've ever had. Oh, John Mayer's more like, what now? <laughs> oh my I god, a monster? Believe it. Here? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, well. Yeah, it takes care of that. And... <laughs> Do we kill all three with those two shots? I hope. Deep fear, where the shotgun just clears out the whole room. Basically a BFG 9000. It's so nice of them to give you the best weapon in the game so early. I like how he's emergency rescue team, but he just leaves everyone behind. <laughs> Not the best at the whole rescue aspect of it. It's his first week on the job, I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. but... <laughs> I mean, he hasn't this even is... filled out his you know 401k info yet. This is why you couldn't save Mookie, asshole. This is what happens when you don't get your on-the-job on the training. This music, again, is a lot more menacing than what's going happening here. Well, the composer woke up and was like, Oh, I need to do something to save this shit. <laughs> this has got to be salvaged somehow. But seriously, as much as I love the elevator sequence sequences, mm -hmm. it needs that yes. soundtrack to spice it up and really make it the best part of this game. I wish there were another countdown. That was my favorite part of this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Let me amend that. Remember the five minutes we talked to Ironicus before the video started the last episode? Mm-hmm. That, that'd be That was really the best the part time. of Deep Fear. Actually, it was. It was when we reminisced about Deep Fear. Do you know we did about ten minutes with Ironicus before my sound cut out? Oh, yeah? Yeah, just think about what it might have been. Oh. oh, wait, I'm sorry, we're... What is this? <laughs> <laughs> you should really use goggles, John. I feel like he was shaving the thing. <laughs> Well, yep. I don't know what I did, but it worked. I am a master electrician. Alright. That was a good torch using scene. I feel like Anna could have just lifted that if she really wanted to. <laughs> what the hell is this? Well, if you'd yelled long enough, you could have gotten that guy to open for you. Who are you? John Mayer, ERS. <laughs> Wait a minute. I found a civilian carrying a gun. Not a civilian. Your name is... John Mayer. Okay. I'm sorry. Commander Clancy is waiting for you. Please go to his room right away. <laughs> uh oh, mate. Now the dating sim part begins. <laughs> <laughs> Deep fears multiple endings. Will you bet Anna, Gina, or Clancy? Mm. You, the player, get to choose. Let's hope it's Clancy. Let's hope so. Have the room he's in flash pink. Or let's hope it's Dubois. Ah. I don't know. Me either. I miss him. Mm -hmm. Scarecrow's oh, going places. I have, um, I'm just going to warn everyone we're not going to figure out the, date of the fate of Dubois at the end of this video, sadly. God oh, damn it. I know. Wait, isn't this John's old room? It looks like. Is, is your anime? That's your anime girlfriend right over there, right? Let's look at her. Yeah, next to the ladder. Let's, after we grab our 20 <laughs> first <laughs> kids. Come on, game. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I don't have time to look at Stella or my fireman outfits. <laughs> He's holding like the first aid kit in his mouth, two behind his ears. That really is his room though, ERS room. Amazing. Good thing I stocked up before we came. <laughs> Monsters? Yeah, right, John. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. <laughs> why why get all that blood on you? Tell me that tomorrow, maybe I'll believe you then. <laughs> it's not midnight yet, John Mayer. Uh huh. Now shut up, the elevator's coming. Uh oh. Wait. You can't come in here. <laughs> now do you believe me about the monsters? I don't know. Oh, Clancy with an S, serious. Clan Z. All right. <laughs> Those are my four LPs on the wall. <laughs> I got platinum. They all sold platinum. We need to get around to supporting those LPs. <laughs> Glad you made it back, Mayor. Thanks to you, we're out of danger for a while. They call me Shit this Roy is Campbell. Colonel McCoy, who's come to help in the rescue. Again. Long time no see, John. Uh, Colonel McCoy. Long time never see. You know each other. He was one of my men. One of the best. He called me Buff Leon Kennedy. I didn't know you were Kennedy. hiding here. 
I thought you were done with the ocean after that day. <laughs> well, there's no time to talk about it now. <laughs> yes, Commander. <laughs> Unfortunately, the monsters you were talking about are real. They're humans, but their bodies have been taken over. <laughs> yeah, right. the civilian area. There were some survivors. Most of them were taken over. Should we get started with the emergency planning? <laughs> okay, let's go into the meeting room. I've heard about the enemy's weak points from Gina. They are guns. Any meeting? <laughs> We've got to get out of here as soon as possible. Mayor, I'm sorry, but no civilians beyond this point. We're civilian? Why are we shooting everyone? <laughs> Are they in like a bad voice actor contest too? <laughs> you know you think you're so good, but your air is only at 60. Yeah. Clancy, what do you do when your air runs out? I mean, you're in here all the time, right? I hope you have a lot of air grenades you just pitch at the wall. Or do you have one of those switches that just recharges it all the time? <laughs> this game is so awful. <laughs> I mean, really? Do we have any info or uh, data on how well this game did? Oh, not well. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's what <laughs> it, was, it was on the Sega Saturn. It had that going against it. And now it's it's like <laughs> we're competing with the Sony PlayStation somehow. You know. <laughs> well, we were until this game came out. Yeah, don't make another Sonic or Panzer Dragoon. Let's just do this. John Mayer's gonna be the one the kids want to play as. One last chance to look at our kawaii picture. Oh. Now who the fuck is Wait, this? Dubois? <laughs> Mayor, you're safe. I was so worried. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. But Mookie, it's because I wasn't there. Oh, that's the woman. Don't blame yourself. Oh, right. Mayor, I... She's over at Mookie pretty quick, too. What? Oh, what's the matter, Gina? Why do they have bug eyes? Mayor, I got kind of scared. Is she burned? So I came here. <laughs> oh. I just came straight from the tanning uh, this bed. This is Dr. Weisberg, the MI area lead researcher. They look like nice Binding of Isaac characters. <laughs> nice to meet you, You got all the wrong upgrades. Mayor, you, you don't look too happy. <laughs> yeah. I met someone. I, at least I'm assuming so. What? Colonel McCoy, <laughs> my former commander. Also, your torso's a hexagon. I've done a lot of special missions. Also, your hair looks like a dead skunk. You almost got wiped out once. But because of his actions and bravery, we were saved. I just barely survived. Who made that sandcastle on Anything was possible with Colonel McCoy. Can none of you make eye contact? But that day... We tell them. Colonel McCoy's younger sister. I killed her. Whoa. She was my fiance. Whoa. Do you want to tell me about it? You shouldn't keep it locked up inside. Mayor, you saved me before. Now it's my turn to help you. Gesture. Um. I think I'm in the way, so I'll leave. <laughs> Good idea, you with the ripped skirt? What was this, Gilligan's Island? That's what you wear on a fucking day. It's my first day thing. off in a while. The weather was pretty nice. There was a storm coming, but I was confident in my yachting skills, and I ignored Colonel McCoy's warning. In your yachting skills? It took Stella out of the ocean. The yacht was swept into the storm. To a storm, the yacht was like a leaf in the wind. Stella was thrown out into God. the ocean. I tried to save her, but she was too animated. There was nothing I could do. And only I survived. Colonel McCoy said nothing to me. That made it even worse. <laughs> so I decided to work. I couldn't handle the guilt, and I left the team. Oh. Even if I want to forget it, I, I can't. It'll take time. And we're well, all that's my advice. Time grenades. passes. You'll come to understand each other. I'm sure. You're right, I'm healed. Bye. This is Dubois, man! Come to my room quickly! It's terrible! Dubois? <gasps> Dubois. What's, what's happening with Dubois? Oh, there's not enough time left in the video to find out. I know, I've left it as a cliffhanger, I'm afraid. The biggest cliffhanger of Deep Fury yet! <laughs> Quick, our charge! Or save. Either way. So, basically, I guess John Mayer and Stella were like really rich and yachting around the world and is that what happened and then how did she die she got thrown off yeah and and john mayer blamed himself as did colonel mccoy who mm -hmm. i guess was her father and then they worked together and he's emergency rescue at the end wow. <laughs>
Then the events of deep fear happen. Suddenly I feel so much more connected to John Mayer and his plight. Ladies and gentlemen, to Bois' room. Oh. Next time. This is the spookiest Halloween yet. <laughs> My god. We should have just saved this for um, Valentine's Day. <laughs> or, th or Thanksgiving. Really any holiday it works for. Uh, yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deep fear. Deep fear. God, this game has a lot of downtime. <laughs> <laughs> we need to come up with talking points of things to discuss for next time. Even if they're things not related to the game. Just shit yeah, to waste Basically. Out. Well, that's why I was trying to read the comments. It was just <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> well... Oh, I'm, I'm I'm stunned we made it through Dark Seed 2, and then this is like, oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> and what, we're only about a third of the way through? I think things start to happen, though, more now. Oh. I mean, we're getting into Dubois territory, so... <laughs> yeah. I think that at least the next video will start with There's that minutes. carrot to dangle for the audience. I know. The Dubois uncertainty. How do you think PewDiePie would have done this? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's an air grenade! I love it! Hello, Mr. Grenade. I will find a rape grenade. Oh, I'll rape you with a rape grenade. Rape grenade! You rape with the rape grenade. I will rape grenade all the time. Our charge stands for rape charge. Oh, you want to suck my dick grenade? No. Suck that dick grenade. No rape charge is being fired keep against me. Keep sucking it. <laughs> okay, I'm getting creepy. Oh, that's good. Yes. We might become what we hate the most. I'm not caring. No, I don't think that's... A not gonna happen actually okay probably not i'm not worried about that at all good all right that's right that's right cut and print